Ladies and gentlemen, today we have found an extremely special Prevo Marathon coach. This is Marathon Coach 1250, a 2017 X3 double slide. This coach has had an extensive remodel by Marathon Coach that has been well documented on their YouTube channel. And the best part about this coach is, is it's available at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida for $1,333,333. And this is one of the best spec Marathon Coaches on the road right now. With the remodel they did, it really brought the interior to modern day finishes like we're gonna see in the brand new Prey Today I want to take this coach on a test drive, show you what it's like going down the road. We're going to go through the bays, but first let's take a look at this interior because this is a very special coach. Check this out guys. So we are enjoying a beautiful view of the Sarasota Bay right now. One of the best parts about RVing is all of the cool locations that you can go enjoy those beautiful views while still being in luxury. Now we were here a little bit earlier and already filmed the interior of this coach. So we're gonna go back a couple hours while it was still dark outside. This is one of the most filmed and photographed marathon coaches that I am aware of. Marathon has done several videos of this coach from when it was brand new to when it got an extensive remodel at Marathon Coach a couple years ago. A lot of you know of Marathon Mal over at Marathon Coach. He's done some videos on this coach. When you look back at some of the original videos when this this coach was brand new in 2017. It had a lot of different finishes, but the owners that remodeled this coach did a lot of very tasteful updates, like the back on this couch. They did leave these cushions the same color, but I really like the two-tone contrast. And this is a very popular floor plan with the J dinette. This table does extend out, so if folks are a little bit bigger, they can easily get in here. And then with the Marathon coaches, there's so much functionality, like the way that this table swivels out and then you can adjust where you want your table depending on how big your belly is. And with the remodel that Marathon coach did, it, it really makes this feel like a modern coach. It's hard to tell that this is a 2017 when you look at other 2023 and 24 coaches out there. And not only did they reupholster the backs of these, but they also did the floors as as well. I really like the light floors, gives it a really nice contrast. And there's so much value in Marathon Coach doing the remodel at Marathon in Coburg, Oregon. And then it's also really cool that they documented it. So you can always go back and type in Marathon Coach 1250 and see the different videos of this coach through the years. And I believe that these balances were updated. You've got all of this intricate tile work with the indirect lighting. And then of course the signature Marathon Coach lighting, we've got it switching colors right now. So it was green a moment ago. Now it's more of an orange and it will continue to cycle through, but you can set that at the color that you prefer the most. Now this being an X3 double slide, there's a lot of value to this because when we put the slide rooms in, there's still a lot of living space while the coach is going down the road. Now, one of the other big updates that I noticed from when this coach was original is this recliner is updated and all of the little subtle remodel uh, changes that they make just really make this coach feel brand new. This color combination is very similar to what we're gonna see in a lot of the newer coaches with the lighter colors. And this coach is a great example of you know how much a nice remodel can bring a coach to life. Now, one of the hardest things to change on coaches are the color of the cabinets, the floor plan, fixed surfaces, walls, all of that stuff is gonna be very difficult to change. But when a coach is specced right with really nice cabinets, nice countertops, a uh, few minor changes can really make it like a different coach. So when we compare what this coach looked like before the remodel, you can really see that difference. Now, this recliner is really comfortable, but if you wanted to get a little bit of work done, you've got this laptop tray that will come out lots of countertop space here you've got these nice deep drawers here and of course I like to point out the marathon coach logo 
There's a nice little map pocket here. You have outlets and USB ports. And then you can also run a cable through the countertop here if you did want to put a monitor here. Now there are a couple TVs in the salon area one of the TVs is in the slide room here. The big advantage to that is when the slide rooms come in and you're going down the road, if your passengers wanna enjoy some television, they can do that with the slide rooms in. And we are gonna show you more of the cockpit area in a moment when we test drive this coach. But we can press a button right here. There is a TV that will come down up front. And the way Marathon Coach builds this TV, when you're coming in and out of the coach with the TV down, you have plenty of room here, even with wide shoulders to get in and out of the coach without hitting your shoulder or your head on the TVs. Those of you that are familiar with the different Prevo conversions out there know not all converters are the same and some of them didn't place those TVs in the best places. Marathon Coach has converted more Prevo motorhomes than anybody else that I'm aware of. And they have a lot of experience in making the experience as good as possible for the end user of the coach. And I always like to point out these floor mats that are custom made. If you look at the cuts at, at these floor mats, you can see they hug up along this. And these can be easily taken out if you do need to clean them. Nice to have a little area to set shoes and whatnot before walking into the rest of the coach. One of the other cool things Marathon does is they have a lot of these art cabinets and there is a blind in this slide room. If you want to show off some of your humor or personality and put something cool in there. I've seen a lot of different cool decor pieces that different marathon coach owners use to fill that space. And then of course you can see all of the lighting, just so much lighting in the marathon coach that really sets it off. Marathon finishes out every square inch. As we look around, you know, the windows behind me, you can see the solid surface here with two tone. And then even, you know, inside of the window valance here, you've got that wood grain look and just every seam, when we look at every gap and you know every corner, how the ceiling connects to the valance, and then there's that indirect lighting, you know, even from where the slide room is to the ceiling, just every square inch gets finished out. It's another little art recess there and some cool, like it looks like a seashell. Now, if you do need some extra sleeping, extremely easy the way that that folds down, the way Marathon engineers it. And then behind your sofa, you've got a laundry hamper. So if your guests start piling up dirty laundry, they have a little spot to kind of tuck it out of the way back there. I love how Marathon Coast utilizes every square inch for storage. And then you can easily put this up. It's kind of a different style the way Marathon does this jackknife, but it's just very simple, very user friendly. And of course, we've got the signature Marathon Coach cocktail and wine glass cabinet with that Marathon Coach logo on the glasses. And you can just see how clean everything is. And this coach has gone through the detail process here at the Motor Coach store. And those of you that saw the recent video we did talking about the restoration that goes into these coaches coaches, they're on another level. We're in communication with the detail department daily at the Motor Coach store to know what coaches are coming through the process. We're always trying to get you guys a first look at these coaches, but Eddie, the detail manager, when we talked about this coach for the first time, he said, this is the cleanest motor coach we've seen in years at the Motor Coach store. Talking Prevos, Newell's, everything. So that was directly from Eddie. Eddie said this 17 marathon is the cleanest coach he seen come in, which definitely makes their job easier in the detail department, but they're still going through everything to make sure it's in top condition. I like to point out Marathon Coach does a lot of small stuff like this little strap here that holds this chair into place while it's going down the road so it's not moving around and that charcoal colored piping that ties in with the sofa. I love the two tones in this coach. And then when we open up all of the storage in the galley, you can see the insides of these cabinets are totally finished out. And I prefer this, I believe this is an embossed leather over the carpets. I think it's easier to clean the insides of your cabinets. Then you have your GE microwave, again, more storage above your microwave. And then there is a Miele cooktop. And even the cooktop cover and the sink cover are extremely flush the way Marathon Coach builds these coaches. They are very precise with all of their cuts. And then it's nice to have that extra countertop space when you wanna cover up the sink. And that's a huge sink as well. 
and just all kinds of storage in this coach and just so many details like the curve on this door it really takes a lot of talent to be able to make that all completely flush you have more drawer space here again lined with that embossed leather and you can really see the structure of this when we open up all of these drawers here's your fisher Pekel dishwasher you can see the indirect lighting below the countertop and then inside this cabinet, we've got a little spot where we can set those sink covers if you want to stow those. And then lots of drawer space. And as we come to the middle of the coach, I really like what they did with the two-tone laminate. Just to break things up, we've got the darker, more of a wood look. And then here, it's more of a cream color marble look to break it up and tie everything together. But this is actually the refrigerator. It looks like it's just a piece of furniture built into the coach, but you can see Sub-Zero refrigerator refrigerator with the pull-out freezer drawer and then some pantry space here and even the marathon coach logo in the pantry so many cool little details that really just scream luxury and you can just really feel that quality just opening and closing those now if you do want to section this coach off from your guests you can press a button and close that door and when we close that door we've got this large private suite in the back of the coach with this beautiful shower with the two-tone tile with the lighter and darker colors and you can just see the quality when you just look at all of the seams you have a vent up here but look at you know the vent cover the way they make that with a solid surface just such a high-end feel i will give you guys a shower test you can see there's a very slight radius on this shower door but plenty of room inside of your shower plenty of height in the x3 as well and across from your shower you've got more pantry space again the marathon coach logo on these drawers very high-end finishes and lots of storage throughout this coach then a nice sink area, continuing with the cream color countertop, beautiful backsplash, swivel out too if you, when you're doing your hair you want to kind of see the side of your head. And then there's a mirror directly behind you on this door so you can actually see the back of your head when you're getting ready. And of course again lined with all that embossed leather, such a nice look. And then again, they broke it up with the two-tone, bringing in the darker cabinets like we saw in the galley and a lot of storage below your sink, as well as some drawer space in your bathroom here. Then I really like the full-length mirror here as well, just so you can you know, check out your whole outfit, your shoes and all that. But when you need to use the restroom, you can press this button and that will open up your bathroom door here. Lots of room in your water closet. You have an additional sink. You have a TV here as well. If you want to watch that in the background while you're getting ready, uh, you can see that in the mirror. Nice little feature there. And then a large mirror behind your Tecma toilet. Lots of places to make sure you're looking good in this bathroom. And again, just more storage the darker cabinets here in your water closet. Now, if you want to section off your rear bedroom and let your guests use your bathroom, you could press a button here. And that will section off the coach nicely. But back here, you've got the huge rear suite with, I believe this is a king size bed or a RV king size bed. And you have a lot of closet space. Right here, you've got lots of hanging space. Again, very well lit. I like to point out, you do have an emergency release. If for some reason those air doors didn't work, you could press that, it will release the air. And then you can manually open and close those doors. And then to the right of your bed, more storage with those shoe cubbies back there. You can see that solid surface countertop wraps around, nice big deep drawers. And, and so much detail work when you look at you know, these little curves and all of the work that goes into making all of this flush when you close it all up. The craftsmen at Marathon Coach are extremely talented to be able to make all of that happen. This does have the fixed Samsung TV with storage on both sides of the TV. Again, utilizing every square inch lined with that embossed leather, easy to clean. You have outlets and USB ports. Just so many details like a backsplash in your bedroom. The amount of work it takes to make that happen, just incredible. And you have that backsplash on both sides of your window here in your bedroom. And then a nice countertop space. It's always good to have a spot to set items and then more storage and lots of drawer space. 
in your bedroom here. And then we do have the closet door open, but we can uh, close that up if we want. Again, you've got the full length mirrors here, uh, lots of areas to get ready. But then when we open it up, it's almost like a walk-in closet. There is a pretty big step up. You do have your ASCO washer and dryer, a lot of your components. And then I like to point out that Marathon ducks the AC into your rear closet. So you're getting nice cool air back here. And then you've also got more hanging space along the back of the coach. This interior is really nice, but let's put the slide rooms out and take it for a test drive. And then I also wanna show you around the basement bays. So the X3 has has the timeless exterior with the stainless panels. And this is one of the coolest paint jobs, especially of this era. When we look closely, we can see a design ghosted into the white area here. Lots of intricate details like the gold pinstripe with a design inside of that pinstripe as well. You could see the large drop shadow here and the different angles of the sunlight. This bus really pops. As we go around this coach, a lot of you just love at how industrial these bay doors are. When you open and close the bay doors on a lot of the production motorhomes, they're nowhere near the level of these Prevos. And you can see this huge storage area here. I'm gonna actually climb into this just to show you guys how big this is. The X3 bays are not gonna be as big as the H3. You still have a lot of stowing capacity here. And you can see Marathon Coach store some of the breaker boxes here in the front bay. Now the H3 Prevos are gonna have a little taller bays, but the big advantage to the X3 is we do have more headroom, but the bays are not quite as tall. Bay two is gonna be another large storage bay. I personally like that there's no slide trays taking up room. You have this big open area, the little giant ladder that has its own place here where it's staying in place while you're going down the road. And then that Marathon Coach floor mat. And of course, this nice stow area for your Marathon Coach lawn chairs with that logo embroidered. And these are very sturdy lawn chairs. I think we've seen buses that are like 20, 30 years old and these lawn chairs are still holding up strong. This is gonna be your entertainment bay. It's got the Samsung TV with a sound bar. Just have a simple button right here. And then depending where the sun is and where the glare is, you can adjust that TV. And then we do have the launch port tablet out here where we can control the different systems in the house, your Crestron controls. We can put the awnings out here. So I'm gonna just hit all awnings, extend. Check this out. We've got all kinds of shade space here. And that's another big advantage of the double slide is you don't have a slide room cutting into your awning space. And these awnings go almost the entire length of the coach. I mean, you've got a few feet at the front and the rear of the coach, but a lot of value in having that. And then the other big advantage of a, a double slide coach is you don't have to go below a slide room to get into these bays. And then behind this entertainment bay is gonna be a lot of the plumbing, your holding tanks, you can see your dual water pumps, your Valterra dump valves, nice water filter, everything is very simple, very clean. And then you've got a little spot to store your launch port tablet as well. You just press one button on the tablets and these awnings are coming back in here. I always like to show when we close these doors how industrial this is. There is a little latch right here that, that does hold this into place. But when we close this, I mean, that's, that's like shutting a vault door. Nobody in the industry has bays like this. <laughs> There's no question whether your bay door is shut or not when you latch that down. And I do see Michelin tires with date codes of 2020. Now, as soon as this coach has gone through the entire check-in and PDI process, 
All of the date codes on tires, batteries, the build sheet, all of the specs will be posted to the motorcoachstore.com. We're always trying to get you guys a first look at these coaches before anybody else sees them. So hopefully we have this video edited before it's on their website. But if you do keep an eye out, that information will be posted as soon as it's gathered. Then here's a side access to the Volvo D13 with 500 horsepower. You can see your Prevo VIN plate here. It does have a little lever here for a tow package disconnect as well. And then we'll pop this rear engine hatch with this little latch right here. And then we have easy access to that Volvo D13. You can see easy access to the belts. Prevo is known for making stuff easy to service. Prevo does have a great service network around the country as well as different service vans. And I've heard different Prevo owners from, you know, coaches that are 20, 30 plus years old, as well as new coaches, just talk about how impressed they are with service service from Prevo. Keep in mind, these are the same buses that a lot of the Greyhounds are running in. A lot of the A-list celebrities are running around in tour buses, so they need these to be reliable. This also does have a 20,000 pound towing capacity, so a lot of value here. Marathon Coach does a great job of finishing out that rear cap on the X3. It's got a very sleek design up here. Then a really cool paint job around the back here. You can see a slight fade. How it goes from like a black charcoal into more of a brown color with that gold pinstripe. Lots of detail work here. You've got the twin Xantrax 4000 watt inverters. And I believe you can run an AC unit off of those inverters while you're going down the road. This is going to be a marine gray water heater and then you have your power hose reel and here's a look at the marathon coach plumbing bay I love how they finish it out with the logo you've got your Crestron panel where you can monitor your tank levels your manifold system tank rinses everything is very clearly labeled and then back here we can see there's your fresh water holding tank a little outside spigot and then your dump valves your shore cord your sewer hose buttons and this does have a little drop door here i'm not gonna show it here just because there's no sewer dump but it'll open a little door up and then shoot a sewer hose out the bottom of your coach and then you can reel that in when you need almost like a james bond style setup for your sewer hose to keep that out of the way so you can handle that sewer hose as little as possible it's going to be the generator bay does have auto gen on it we are running all the lights off the inverters right now so every once in a while that will kick in and it does have all of this sound deadening material that really keeps that quiet that's the 20 kw generator on this manual slide tray you can see how clean that is industrial piece of equipment there a lot of value and then here's the other side of the full pass through bay up front here a lot of storage. Now I do need to duck down a little bit below this front slide room, but still pretty easy to access. Now those of you that know Prevo know the best part about this bus is, well, it's driving down the road. So let's put the slide rooms in and take it for a quick test drive and see how it is going down the road. Here in the cockpit of the Prevo X3, we have a very ergonomic steering wheel on the air ride. This coach does have 58,150 miles on it. Got the tag lift in the back. We've talked about that in previous videos where it will lift up the rear axle to help make a tighter turning radius. We can also unlock and lock our baggage doors from the driver's area. We have the valid leveling system. This does have the air leveling. Simple rear view mirror controls. You can start and stop your generator, control your salon lights, your driver lights. You can jump your coach off of your house batteries. And it's all finished out with like a carbon fiber style look, very clean. It also has the tire pressure monitoring system. And then that same carbon fiber finish on the steering wheel. And all of this is like brand new. Uh, I'm not seeing any wear and tear on this cockpit. And then we have the driver's AC console. And then we can control the shades. We have power shades, a power window for the driver as well if you're going through a toll or showing up to an RV resort and need to talk to the host. And I'm gonna put this blind down here, get some shade on this screen 
and you can see how clean the blinds are just so high end everything is completely tucked you know in a lot of the production motor homes you might see light coming through the gaps not in this coach so we can control a lot of the systems from the dash here we have our different cameras we can look at that's the rear view camera we can see the right side of the coach the left side of the coach and then when we put it on auto when I turn the right turn signal on, it's automatically gonna to go to the right side. When I go left, it'll go left, and same with reverse, that backup camera will come on. All right, well, I'm excited to put this X3 to the test. It's been a while since I've driven a late model Prevo, and a lot of the uh, Prevo enthusiasts out there prefer the X over the H3. We're sitting up a little bit higher. Let's take it for a cruise and see how it drives here. It does require a good amount of pressure there to release that, and then you can hear that door locked as soon as we um, release that brake. And in a moment, we're gonna go to the back of the coach while we're going down the road, just to show you what it's like with the slide rooms in going down the road, and you can hear how loud it is. And we're going out a pretty steep, you know, curve right here to get a little uh, twist and flex in the back of the coach. As you can not hear any squeaks and rattles, uh, Marathon is one of the tightest built motorhomes on the market. Very well built and put together and uh, there are some cracks on these roads that different motorhomes, depending on how the suspension was maintained, how the tires are, I believe these are 2020 date codes on the tires we saw, uh, but there can be a big difference in two different coaches and this coach is driving as nice as any Prevo I've ever driven. You can tell it's been well maintained and you know, with all of that documentation at the Marathon Coach Factory, we know uh, the previous owners definitely spent some serious money on this coach. Really smooth going around that corner. Now, I did not lift the tag. Uh, some of the Prevo enthusiasts, you can you know hear both ways. Some people want to lift the tag every time we go around a corner so that there's not any wear on the uh, tag uh, tires back there. And since we're on a pretty bumpy road, Andrew, do you want to just walk to the back of the coach so they can see what it's like uh, with the slide rooms in? And Look at the air ride seat here. I mean, just we just went over a huge bump and um, it's just amazing at how smooth it takes it. But let's, uh, yeah, let's see what it's like in the back of the coach there. I missed the turn and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop up this tag. Oh okay, cool. Thank you. Big thanks to the uh, FedEx driver there. Getting out of our way so we have an easy exit here. Alright, we're gonna get out on the road and just accelerate a little bit to see how this 500 horsepower Volvo D13 accelerates. Uh, with the X3 and uh, Andrew, how was it going to the uh, the back of the uh, motorhome? Pretty much completely quiet. Yeah, one of the smoothest you've been in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've been in a lot of coaches too, but I'm extremely impressed with the 17 X3 Marathon. We're gonna let the FedEx driver. Big shout out to all these guys driving these semis like this. Uh, I respect these guys. Thank you gave us a little courtesy wave there you know driving these big rigs in these cities uh, is you know it's a tough job but this bus definitely makes it very easy um, a lot of these buses are, are used as uh, tour buses for you know rock stars that are in downtown stadiums so they've got to be you know making tight turns driving through traffic and uh, got to tip my hat to all the tour bus drivers truck drivers out there behind the scenes making it happen so we can get all of our goods daily okay I'm gonna crank up this driver's AC okay we accidentally had the heat on from this morning and I was like, why is it getting hot in here it was a little chilly this morning in Florida 
at 5.30 a.m. when we filmed this coach, but uh, it's warming up nicely today. So we've got that dash. I'm gonna turn this up just to get that AC. So I will say that, you know, the dash AC, when we crank it all the way up, is a little bit noisy, but I think if we were running that AC off the inverter in the back of the coach, you know, definitely be much cooler. One of the huge advantages of the Marathon is we can run this AC off of the inverters while we're going down the road. And so I could definitely put down some serious miles in this coach, but out of respect for the future owners of this coach, we're gonna get it safely back here to the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida, where it is available for $1,333,333.60. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.